Faraday, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and I've got another Faraday cage video for you. Um, get lots of survival blog uh, readers um, that watch my uh, YouTube channel come to my website, and I can't blame them because I'm a big survival blog reader myself. And uh, here recently, uh, there was a post on survival blog about using popcorn tins as Faraday cages, okay? And I've had a couple PMs, people asking me about it, and so we're going to try it. Now we're going to do something a little different this time. Because of the size of the can, we're not going to wrap everything up in, uh, in plastic bags, okay? But you do have to insulate. So what I did is I got some uh, rubber contact sheet from the dollar store, set it down on the workbench, put this on it, cut around it with a knife so I have a little round pattern, put that in the bottom, and then the ice cream tin we're going to just drop in there okay now that's going to isolate whatever we put in the tin from the sides of the tin okay stick my walkie talkie in there gonna stick cell phone in there and then we're going to put the lid on okay So a popcorn tin does work. Okay. Now, different frequency, different wattage. Hear that? It is coming through the popcorn tin. So, popcorn tin works a little bit, but not to... Uh, for everything. So if it was me, and I was really concerned about EMP, right, what I would do was wrap everything in, in the aluminum foil first, and then I would put them in the Mylar bags second. Of course, you've got to insulate between the aluminum foil and the Mylar bag. Then I'd put them in a popcorn tin, and then I would put them in a grounded um, gun safe or a grounded metal filing cabinet something like that and I would try to use a little bit of dissimilar metals um, in between you know uh, uh, maybe a steel gun safe and then an aluminum um, pie tin and then well what is it that's probably steel uh, with with the tin coating and then the aluminum mylar is actually aluminum and aluminum foil is aluminum and remember you've got to insulate between each one and uh, I would ground the biggest one on the outside simply because that helps you with um, uh, lightning or whatever. It doesn't really do much for EMP, but uh, a lot of people disagree with me on that. But this is coming from the uh, FEMA guidance on EMP protection. But anyway, um, you'll see, like I said, that's a good illustration. It works on some things, but not on everything. So, until next time, you can always get us online at www.tngun.com.